Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for slash commands in Discord Boss Studio. Uh, these are added in DBS 2.0. When this video comes out, 2.0 is going to be in beta. Um, so if you don't see 2.0 on Steam, you can just join the support server and there will be um, instructions on how you can switch over to the beta branch on Steam to download 2.0. If you're watching in the future and you already have 2.0 from Steam, then don't worry about any of what I just said. So uh, to get started, slash commands were added in Discord JS 13, which just recently went public, um, and that's why they have just now been added to DBS. So if you're not familiar, slash commands basically give you the option to show users um, commands that are available for your bot. And not only will it show the command and a description, um, but you can also have options that follow it. So I will show you how to do that in DBS. I'm on the commands page, and as you can see at the top here, there's a new button uh, that says add slash command. So if we click that, we'll get this menu. So here you're gonna name your command. So this is like in the server when you type slash, and then you're gonna type the command name following the slash. So if we wanna do something like test, then we would type slash test in the server and then that would automatically like show the user that the test command is available. And then it'll also show this description um, next to that command as well. So down here we have the option to also add um, command options. And if you read the text here, um, basically command options are anything that follows the command. So this could be something like um, a user or a number or just a text string. Um, so basically like uh, just adding more options to that command. So if you wanna add an option, uh, you just click add option and you can add like as many as you want. And then you'll just have to give it a name, a description and a type. So uh, yeah, we can just call it first. And then I'm just going to leave it as a string for now. These are the um, types that are available to you. And then we can require an option. Um, sure, I'll require this one. And then to add this command, we just click add. And now you can see we get this new green slash command node. And it says slash test since that's what it's called. And as you can see, there's no outputs. So you're not going to be connecting things like you would to a regular command node. Instead, um, you're going to have to leverage the command interaction event, which is on the events page in order to um, respond when this command is fired. So I'll take you over to the events page and show you how that works. All right, so now I came over to the events page. Um, in 2.0, if you haven't seen this yet, there's a ton of new events. Um, so there was 22 new events, I believe, that were added. Um, but the one that we want to use is this command interaction event, and that gets fired whenever um, a slash command is used, basically. Uh, and so I've already set up the nodes that you're going to need so we can save some time, um, but I'll walk through what each of them do. So this first one is pretty important. This is a switch case node. Um, this was just also added in uh, 2.0. This node allows you to... Um, compare a variable to multiple values, essentially like you would using a switch case if you were coding um, regularly. So the two um, values I'm comparing are test and XP. And you'll remember that our command name is test. So if I come into this node, you can see um, I inserted the command interaction, um, the command name field on that. And then so it's gonna compare whatever this variable value is to these two values. And if it is equal to one of them, then it's going to execute the commands that are um, connected to that output. And you can add um, like as many values to compare as you want. So essentially, like what you're going to do is have one value for each of your um, slash commands, and then you would add, add the responses to that command from that corresponding output. So once we know that we have the test command, or that's the command that's been fired, uh, the next thing I've done is use a get interaction option node that's in the interaction category. This is also a new node in 
and essentially it does what the title says it's getting an interaction option so in this case we added that option to our command that was called first um, it was a string and then we have the option to save that as a variable that we can then leverage later so I just call it first option you can call that whatever you want and then you can choose what kind you want to save it as um, and then note that here I'm using the command interaction object itself and that's what is needed in this field here then finally I added a reply to interaction node um, we also use this node in the button and select tutorial but essentially when you use any sort of interaction so that includes slash command um, clicking a button or choosing a select option it's going to show that the bot is thinking um, until a reply is sent and so what we're doing with this node is actually sending a reply um, so once again I selected that command interaction and then this time um, what I'm replying with is just this text here so I said you entered blank for the first option and what this is is that variable that we just stored when we got that first option so how this should work essentially is we would type slash test and then enter some string for the value of that first option and then this is going to show a reply from the bot with this text with that first option value substituted here and this is obviously a very basic use case um, just showing you how this all works though so I will run the bot and then we can pop over to Discord and see how this works. So if I do slash test, then I have the option. Um, you can see this is the first option. That's the description that we gave for this first option. And then it's going to take a string here. If we try to enter something other than a string or other than the option type that you specified, um, it's not going to let you do that, so let's just type um, tutorial here. And then we get a reply from the bot that says you entered tutorial for the first option. So it's just replying to that slash command and it was substituting the value that we gave it into the string because that's what we specified. Um, again, this is a pretty simple tutorial, but just giving you the basics of how slash commands work in DBS. Um, something to note is that DBS uses global slash commands and that comes with the caveat that they take They can take up to an hour to register um, Like with discord so you might not see your commands available on all the servers right away um, So you might have to wait upwards of an hour if you want to you can test them um, in a DM with your bot, it's not going to work, but you can at least see a preview of what the command name is, um, the description, and the options. But if you have, um, I've noticed if you only have your bot in one server, it actually um, updates the commands pretty quickly. Um, so that's just been my experience at least. So yeah, this has been, uh, that's going to be it for this slash command tutorial. I might do something a little more in-depth in the future.